<laughs> Yo, I'm Jay Bushank. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here for another edition of Book Views. We're looking at uh, some boonie mountains in Thailand. Uh, we're literally just in the middle of nowhere. I have you guys uh, sitting on a piece of clay. We're looking at a mountainside here. It's pretty cold up here, so I got a jacket on. Anyway, um, today we're going to review probably my... I'm, I'm going to go as far as to say my new favorite book, honestly, my new favorite book. I came across this book just totally randomly. Uh, it was sitting uh, at the school that I work at now in Thailand. Uh, it was sitting on one of the desks with a bunch of other random books. There was a uh, Kurt Vonnegut book there too in English that I'm reading now. Um, so that's cool. I found two English books because they're the only books I can get around here that are in English because there's no bookstores or anything. So yeah, anyway, I really lucked out with it. Um, I did a little review on paper here. Wow, so look this over, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So this book is by Nikos Kazanzakis. And the book is called Zorba the Greek. This book is written by a Greek man um, this book is about, well, uh, first, let me say, this book spoke to me on the deepest, most resonant level. Uh, I don't know if, um, you know, I think it would speak to every person on a deep level. I mean, I don't want to talk with stipulate about different kinds of men, but for me as a man, this book spoke to me so deeply, and it's about this guy, so these two guys, they meet each other, and one guy is, uh, he's an intellectual, he likes to read, he likes to, he likes to wonder, he likes to imagine, he likes to advance, he likes to evolve, he likes to think, he likes to write, he likes to share, he likes to, uh, you know, he likes to just, I don't, I'm trying to think of the best way to say it, because it's not like he's like just, he's not ignorant towards life or anything. He just loves to observe and he just loves to learn. But he meets this man and this other man is just purely living. He's living raw as fuck. Uh, when I say raw as fuck, I just mean like, you know, he loves all the way, he hates all the way, he goes all the way in everything he does. He puts his soul to it and he does it. And the difference between these two guys is one is living and the other one is existing, I guess you could say. And a way that I thought about it is like the guy who is living, he is, uh, he's like the common man. And the guy who is observing and is the intellectual is like almost a martyr for culture. Like for culture to advance, you have to have the, the men who aren't living you have to have the men who are thinking and are doing this kind of like sacrificial examination of reality to pr progress it but then you have the major you have these other men that are just living and it was such an interesting book and it spoke to me so deeply because it's a really cool story um, these guys meet each other in a pub they're sailing around in um, they're sailing around Greece doing some stuff mining, um, whatever, whatever, but the story is primarily uh, trying to express this idea of these dualities. And it's such a beautiful duality that I don't know if everyone struggles with or just me or just men like me. Like I said, I don't want to stipulate about different kinds of men. I think everybody goes through this in a subconscious or conscious level. Um, such a beautiful dichotomy. Um, of like the animal and the man or the intellectual and the savage or I don't know and you know me personally I've gone through the intellectual what this guy's struggle was I've gone through that heavily and I feel like um, I'm just kind of coming out of it I mean like you know I'm living my life pretty well now like what the hell am I doing out here you know I'm in the middle of nowhere I'm doing something but I've been in a position where I felt like I was uh reading about things and experiencing things vicariously through words more than I was interested in living them. And that's a really interesting thing that the guy said once in this book, it, I, it caught me in the mind, he said, 
uh, they were talking about love and the guy said, yeah, I'm, he was thinking, you know, he didn't say this verbally to the other guy, but while they were talking about love, basically the savage guy was calling him a, a baby. He was like, you know, you should go out and just try, you know, you should talk to these women, you should blah, 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 do it, do it, do it. And in the guy's mind, he was thinking, I've come to a point where I've, I would rather read a book about falling in love than actually go through the experience of doing it. And the reasons that he explains why he would do that are so beautiful and they were so resonant to me. And the thing about the intellectual guy in this book, he's not just like a, um, I'm going to use the word nerd. He's not just a nerd, like he's a very, you know, smart, handsome, good, uh, good, he's morally sound and he's not totally, you know, uh, inexperienced or immature, but he's just so deep down this rabbit hole of intellectualism. And um, I just was, I resonated so deeply with this guy's uh, struggles. Um, yeah, it's really great. Uh, they talk a lot about like humanity and, 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 and the whole. And I really, really loved their talks about humanity. I mean, the way that they talk about the simplicity of man and the simplicity of women and just like the kind of way that they bout back and forth. It's just like, you know, it's about back and forth between two sides of humanity and two sides of the human ego and the two sides of uh, the human mind, really. I mean, some people might not have the savage integration or the savage part of some people might not have the intellectual integration or intellectual part of their mind open, but I think everybody has. And just reading about it and hearing it, oh, I loved it. I really recommend this book, guys. Really, really do. Um, if you watch uh, some other videos on my YouTube, I have a pretty transparent YouTube channel. You could go watch my journal talks and get a good idea about the kind of man I am. If you think you're even a tad bit similar to the way that I think, then you'll love this book. Seriously, I read this book because I was just sucked in reading it every day, uh, 100 pages a day, seriously. It's about 300 30 pages, so I wasn't reading 100 pages a day, but I was reading a lot a day, and I really, really liked it. Um, yeah, they talk a lot about humanity, a lot about women, a lot about love. If you're a woman and you read this book, you might um, be inclined to feel offended by the way that they talk about the simplicity of women, because sometimes they refer to women as being maybe, they use the word weak, but I think you have to... Um, weigh it out with the way that they talk about men because they also depict men in a really simple light where it's you know like women are weak and men are simple and dumb that's kind of like now you know there's a it's a lot deeper but i just mean like if you're a woman and you read this book and you see how the savage man is talking about women how he says like they're kind of weak or whatever you know i wouldn't take that as like the author was morally unsound or something i think you really gotta take it with a grain of salt um, yeah, I absolutely love this book. Um, I have never heard of it before and I have no idea anything about the author, anything about it, but I have to say this is the greatest fiction I have read, the most captivating fiction I have read, and the most true and resonant fiction that I have read in my 21 years of life. I absolutely loved it. Um, they talk about religion a good amount, and that's pretty funny, the way that they discuss that. Um, if you consider yourself, you know, in this intellectual rabbit hole and this kind of like psychosis of knowledge and psychosis of, you know, why can't I just live my life? You know, it's so interesting. Sometimes, like, when you start to expand your mind and expand your... Um, learn and expand your mind and become more spiritually open I guess you could say it's like you almost fall into this trap where it's like you're literally telling yourself okay just enjoy and live just live just sit back and live your life and you know really live it which is such a weird thing to be telling yourself and that was like a cool part like the savage guy he doesn't tell himself that he's just living he's just doing it and the intellectual guy was going through these struggles because he was like, what the hell? This savage has already attained all these like enlightenment ideas and all these liberating, you know, self-transcendent ideas. And he hasn't even ever tried to learn about any of it or tried to study any of it. He's just living his life. And then I'm over here trying to tell myself to live my life all the time, just telling myself to relax and telling myself to do it and telling myself to blah, 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 blah. 
and I just, oh man, I loved it. Seriously, highly recommend, guys. Highly recommend. Zorba the Greek by Nikos Kazantazaki. Sorry, I butchered that name, but Zorba the Greek. Check it out, guys. Seriously. Thanks for watching. I love you. Take it easy. Peace from the mountains, and uh, we're in a place called Baklua. Peace.